where the water came. It was a happy place. The morning of the flood, when it hit, uh, we were all asleep. And this, this room right here was his bedroom. Grandfather, he come and woke us up. We had to get out of there. You know how kids are, those boys are raising cane. Then they start hollering louder. Trees floating by and some of our hay was floating by. And then the second time he told us. Then we knew he meant it, because we looked out. Water's coming. Moving fast and we didn't, we didn't just put the clothes on our back. And the waves were just rolling. I grabbed Bill and I stuck him on my back. Water was already waist deep. I'd almost go down, but I kept my balance. As soon as we come over the hill, we looked down, there's nothing but water. We had to stay in the vehicle. What, three days? Yeah. Three days in our truck, and we had no food, no water. That was pretty miserable. But what I found most devastating was when we'd sit in the truck and listen to the news of all the folks that we're lost, you know. And it happened all in just a matter of hours that our lives were changed. It seemed like our family kind of separated. I signed up to go away to school. And I moved to town and it ain't the same. I get lonesome for out here. We're country people. We'll always be country people, you know. We were young kids. We didn't like browning at all. We were country kids. We liked to ha ride horses and swim. It was even hard for me to live there in browning because it felt like you were closed in, you know, because we were used to living in wide open and, you know, and, and quiet. It, it, it seemed loud all the time to me. What were the most important things in his life? You know? And it's kind of hard to talk about it. And if I could still ranch, I think I would. Because I still know everything. That was my goal in life, to be a rancher. Yeah, it took that away from me. I wish those years had come back. But they never will. I moved back here in 1983 after I got out of college. This is where I'll stay. This is where I'll die.